Many debate watch parties being held across the state, one of them at Quinnipiac University. News 8's Bob Wilson is live there to tell us what young voters are thinking. Bob? Yeah, you know what, right over here, take a look. You can see all the students here, hundreds of students gathered around the auditorium watching Trump and Clinton go at it face to face, head to head. And there has been a lot of cheering, a lot of excitement, a lot of people going, oh, burn, you know, at the, at, at the insults that they're hurling at each other and agreeing with some of what they're saying. However, they say that this is going to come down to the undecideds. If you really don't like Trump or you don't like Clinton or that's your person, you're not going to change through this debate. It's the undecideds that they are going after tonight. And so that's what we decided to do was pull the students together that were undecided. There are a lot of people here with Trump shirts on or Clinton shirts. So we talked to the undecided voters and they said, you know what, they're not still undecided, especially at this part in the debate. They're both pretty composed, but it's getting more and more hostile. But I think they're both dancing around the questions. I don't think they're really focusing on the material as much. I still don't know. Especially still watching this debate, I still couldn't tell you because Trump says he's going to bring jobs back to America, but half the clothes he wears aren't made in the U.S. So that's very debatable. And then Hillary, can you always believe what she says after all the lies she's already said? Because my siblings, they want to be in the Navy and they really want to do it in the future. But my dad's like, it's a risky business seeing who's going to be your commander in chief. So my concern is for their safety, also because they're not really addressing what kind of policies they're doing. I think that they dance around every single question. I also think that it's a lose-lose. Now, Scott McLean, the professor of political science who's heading up this debate uh, watch party, says, you know what, it's really going to come down to the undecideds, that there were more undecideds in this election, going into this election, than there were in the previous election. He says the candidates are struggling right now. They're going after it to try to get every vote they can. We're live here on the Quinnipiac University campus. I'm Bob Wilson, News 8.